Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to learn a quick method for arranging the fields in your continuous forms using the tabular option. And when I mean we, I mean all of us. Today's problem was brought up by me in one of my videos. I said I got to come up with a way to set up the fields in my continuous forms quickly and easily. I just happened to mention this in one of my videos. I've been doing it old school for 20 some years and the method I've been using is actually kind of slow. Well one of my gold members Scott from Colorado Springs, Colorado said add the fields you want to the form, select all the fields and click arrange tabular. Resize them however you want then click remove layout. And I've got to say Scott thank you this is an amazing solution. I remember when layout view and the whole arrange options came about, I think it was around Access 2007 or 2010, probably 2007 when they did the whole ribbon redesign. Anyways, I had been at that point using Access for I don't know how many years, 1994 is when I started using Access. So I was kind of set in my old ways of doing stuff manually in design view. And when I started playing with the layout view and the different arrange options, I didn't like them. Uh, they were difficult. They actually broke some of my code. The formatting options were horrible. So I kind of stopped playing with them at that point. So for the past, I don't know, 10 to 13 years, I really haven't played with them much. Yeah, I covered them a little bit in my classes, but I haven't really used them myself or appreciated little tricks like this. Let me show the rest of the people. So here we are in a copy of my Tech Help free template. You can download this off my website if you'd like to. It's a free download. You'll find a link down below. And in here, I've got a customer list. This is a continuous form. If you don't know what continuous forms are, go watch my video on continuous forms. Again, link down below. Now, the problem we have here is when I build a new continuous form, the method that I'm using has been a little old school and slow. I've got a template right here, continuous F. Let's copy this, copy, paste, and we'll just call this new continuous F. Okay, design view. And I've got it set up with my options and some colors. I've got it set to continuous forms. Uh, this is covered in the video where I build the Tech Help Free template. So go watch that if you want to see how I built this. But let me show you the method I've been using. So let's just delete what's in here right now. Okay. First thing is you have to bind the form to wherever it's getting its data from, either a table or a query. You have to do this either way. So record source, let's just pick customer T. All right, the customer table. Now we can go to Add Existing Fields, bring in the fields that you want. You can select them all, or I'll just bring in a couple of them. Let's bring uh, these ones in here. I click the first one, hold the Shift key down, click the last one, drag them, drop them over here. Okay. Now this is where Scott's tip kicks in. What I've been doing is I cut off the labels, snip, I paste them in the form header like this, paste, right? arrange them however you want. This is a bit of a manual process, get them lined up. And this is where I said, you know, I need to come up with a way to do this nice and quick because this is time consuming. All right. All right. Slide that up. And then you got to do the same thing with the text boxes. Drag them over here. Resize it. Drag this over here. Resize it. Oh, I left zip code down there. Bring that up here. All right. Do that. Oh, the zip fields. See, these are even attached. If you bring one over the other, they're, they're attached. So you got to kind of cut it out and then paste it up here and then slide it over there. And you got to get these to line up just right and move these over here like this. And as you can see, it's clunky. I mean, you can get the best results. I, I still don't like the full layout view when Access builds this for you. All right, un under the form design. Uh, I like doing this by hand. But Scott's tool makes this process a whole lot easier than this. Let me show you what Scott said to do. Let me close the. Uh, actually, let me just delete this stuff. We don't need this stuff here. All right, now here's Scott's trick, okay? Instead of bringing in the fields and doing all the manual movement, watch this. Add fields, same thing. Click, shift, click, bring in the fields, leave them right there, okay? Turn that off. Now with these guys all still highlighted, go to Arrange, and then over here in the Table section, pick Tabular, and look at that. Access, arrange them for me just the way I wanted them to be. All right, the label's up top, the text box is down here next to each other. Access put them all in a layout group. Okay, you can see there's the group right there. You can click on that and drag the whole group if you want to. Okay. 
Now, if you want to change an individual field, you can click on it like first name. You can resize it, and it'll also resize the table and slide these guys over next to it. See, customer ID. Let's resize that. Oh, I missed it. Click, and then right there. All right, that doesn't have to be that big. First name, last name, email can be larger, right? Address can be larger, see, like that. Okay. One thing I'm going to add, Scott, that you didn't have in your instructions, which were very nice, by the way. I don't like these huge gaps between the controls. So what I'm going to do is pick the whole group, come over here to go, to go to Control Padding, and then pick None. And that gets rid of all the space between the groups like that. And that looks very nice. Now, once you're done arranging these guys the way you want them, right, click on the whole group like that, and then pick Remove Layout. Now you're back to where I like to be, where these are all freestanding objects. So I can slide them up like that. I can resize these individually. I can select these guys, move them up in the corner like that. All right, and now I, I've, I don't have them in a layout group. I don't like keeping them in a layout group. I've had problems with that before. I don't know if those problems are gone. I'll have to do a little more playing with this. But I just noticed Scott posted this comment in my forums on one of my classes this morning. I'm like, whoa, that's really cool. I remember seeing this years and years and years ago, but I was like, nah, I don't like it. And I was playing with some forms and doing some other stuff. And, and when you switch between layout view and design view and you're going back and forth, especially once you get VB code in there, you got to be very, very careful. I will never put layout view on a form that already has programming in it. But, for, but making a brand new form like this, this is a fantastic technique. Thanks, Scott. I love it when you guys teach me something. I love when my students teach me something back. That's amazing. And I love to learn stuff, too. I'm constantly trying to, to learn new, tri new tips and tricks. In fact, when I get someone that asks me a question that I make these videos out of, oftentimes I'll go do some extra research. I'll go Google it and see what other people might have come up with about that. And sometimes I'll put that stuff in the video. So I love learning stuff. And I really appreciate it when you guys send me your tips. All right, but now I can save this, close it. And when I open up new continuous form, look at that. It looks like that. Beautiful. Perfect. And that will probably cut my time designing continuous forms in half. I'm going to use that, Scott. Thank you very much. Want to learn more in the extended cut? I'm going to show you more about that layout on your forms. We'll talk about using rows and columns, inserting rows and columns, inserting to the left and to the right, moving the fields around inside the layout. Then I'll take you into actual layout view, which I'm not a huge fan of, but one of the things I do like is that you can use it to arrange labels over the columns in a list box. Kind of hard to do that in design view because you can't see the data, but if you switch to layout view, you can actually move and resize those labels above the list box. So that's a trick I'll show you in the extended cut for members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. We have over 100 tech help videos now, and we're fast approaching 100 extended cuts so your membership gives you access to a lot of extra training material. So check it out. How do you become a member? Click the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can send me your question there.
Click here to watch my free Access Beginner Level 1 course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.